Hey everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. If this is your first time with us, my name is Rachel. I spent the last five years of my career as a budget analyst for a multi-million dollar business and I love all things budgeting and small living. This is another Budgeting Bites video where I give you bite-sized pieces of budgeting advice that fit into your time schedule and your busy lives. Today's topic is on what type of budget you should use. So Excel or paper. There is this constant debate between the computerites and the paperites, those are my words, about which one is better. And honestly, I've done both. And it really, for me, depends on what season of life that you're in. When I was working full time outside of the home, I was at a computer eight hours a day. So an Excel budget worked really well for me because I was pretty much there attached to a computer. And you know, if I had a budget question, I could easily pull up my spreadsheet fix something here or there, pay a bill, whatever it was that needed to be done, and it was all right there at my fingertips. I did not change our budgeting method for a long time after I quit working a sticks and bricks job, and I found I was having a lot of trouble keeping up with things. I would have questions about my budget, I wouldn't have it with me, and I would have to tell my husband to hang on a few minutes until I would, could get home, or I would need to pay a bill and I didn't know exactly how much I was supposed to pay. So I'd have to wait and then I would forget because I have ADHD and it affects pretty much everything that I do in my life. So I switched about a year ago to a paper budget and the budgets that you see me use in my cash stuffing and budgeting videos are just a paper version of the spreadsheets that I formally created for myself to use in my Excel budgets. It works wonderful for me. So as far as a paper budget goes, if I write something down, I am so much more likely to remember it. When I started paper budgeting about two years ago, I had a separate budget planner and that also didn't work because I tended to forget my budget planner even though I was remembering things better because I was writing things down. I didn't have my budget planner with me all the time. And as I'm a mom of four very young children, I never know exactly where I'm gonna be and when. So having my budget with me all the time was a big deal. So I took my budgeting spreadsheets that I used to use when I was an Excel-based budgeter and created what you now see in our cash budgeting videos as our Money Made Easy budget planner. And I now keep them in my regular day planner. It works beautifully. I have my budget with me all the time, so if there's any questions, I can refer to it. Or really, if I just have a few minutes and it's time for the next month's budget, I can sit down there and write it out. I do a lot of budgeting at the park while my kids are playing. I do a lot of bill paying in the carpool line. So really for me, Excel versus paper, it really has to do with my season of life. Like I said, Excel worked really well for me at one point in time in my life. And right now a paper budget for me is the way to go. All right, everybody, I hope this was really helpful on your paper versus Excel budgeting debate. This is just my little piece of the pie as to why I prefer paper budgeting over Excel. And I've done them both. Take this, look at all of the other advice, and just really see what works best for the season of life you're in. As always, y'all are a joy to have in my life, and I'm so glad I get to spend time with you every day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.